and you could tell me yes or no, but often I've been told that you usually, uh, more evolution is driven after a loss than wins. Uh, how have you evolved? I mean, it, it, can you relate to that? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, last fight I had, you know, I lost that decision and it did definitely add to like an evolution to my game. I, um, you know, strategically, I felt like there was a few things I could have done differently. Even in my wins, though, I'll break down film and look at my footwork, look at, you know, where I got hit and yeah. why I got hit. So I do like to be analytical in that sense, like always checking what, you know, what I did right or wrong, win or lose. But um, I definitely learned um, a lot with this last loss. And um, I'm excited to show you the type of fighter I am now coming to this next one, man. More than, more than half of the fighters go. I, I don't look at film. Um, I don't look at film on my opponents. I focus on what I'm going to do, what I'm going to implement. And I always say, yes, that, that's and in my thought, and in my mind, and even with them, I say, that's great. But I always feel as if you, you can only implement your game plan if you, you have an idea of what you're, you're standing in front of, you, you know, um, how do you see that benefits you as far as um, looking at film? Have you ever looked yeah. at film and were like, oh my God, I wish I didn't see that? I mean, I don't know if that's what people fear. Is that what fighters fear? Is that I'm going to watch something that, that might make me second guess myself? Or, I mean, how, how does that yeah. work out? Yeah, for me, I I hear that all the time too. And I, I get it too, where mm -hmm. I'm going to implement my own game and he's going to have to, you know, work against what I do. And I get it. Yeah. But for me, I like the coaching aspect as well, too. Or I like researching film. Yeah. Not that I have to gear my, my whole game plan around that, but um, I like to know what the guy likes to do. Maybe he favors a certain punch. Mm -hmm. Maybe he, you know, rotates one way, you know, more than the mm -hmm. other. There's, you know, certain gives that you can find. Um, and so for me, I feel like... I'm going to take advantage of watching film anytime I could see it. Yeah. So, um, you know, teach their own, but I like to, to break down film myself. Right. Like I, I want to know what the guy does, what he likes, and then I'm still going to want to implement my own game plan. But like you said, I feel like the more information you got, the better you, you are going in for sure. Yeah. At reality fighting after you, um, I think it was after Matt Almy, but also definitely after you won the title. Uh, very quick fashion over uh, Billy. Um, you said you had prepared for him to come in, pressure you, chop you down, get you to the canvas. And that's almost how the, the fight played out. Um, yeah. Did, did you see an area in that fight in the beginning, even though it was quick, did you see an area to where you, you left yourself exposed or was he just simply executing a little better in the beginning of that fight? Um, I think, I just remember, you know, we moved around a little bit. He, um, I think he threw, he threw like a one and a hook at me and then I blocked it and then I went to go throw it too and he rushed me. Yeah, it was and crazy. Right from there, yeah, yeah. And um, and I remember being like, oh yeah, here, like here it comes. <laughs> and, um, uh, but I felt fine like prepared for that and um yeah it wasn't anything i felt like every camp i'm prepared for anything that's going to happen out there whether it's clinch wrestling you know the jiu-jitsu aspect so i felt comfortable with whatever was going to happen in there um i think it kind of went the way i i thought it would but i expect this one now you know i think he thought he made a mis you know he feels like he made a mistake and that he won't make it this time and he'll be able to get me so do you think he made a mistake or do you think you just were there to capitalize on your opportunity? Yeah, I think I think he went for something that he's confident in and I've seen him hit in other fights. Mm -hmm. Like he hits that head and arm toss. I've seen him hit it before. Um, I think I was able to capitalize. But um, yeah, I think that's the way the game goes sometimes. Like yeah. you go for a movie that you favor and the guy just might, you know, get you. And I think maybe that's why he's... I'm sure he's confident going into this one that, you know, he's not going to do that again. No, so. probably not. Probably not. Now, um, you had said you wanted to use your boxing, frustrate him a little bit, uh, look for him to make a mistake. Uh, is that something that we can, is that type of attack something that we can expect in this fight also? 
use your boxing. Um, I, I mean, and the thing is, is that to hear you say you want to use your boxing with him being the longer, leaner, um, I, I'm not even sure what Billy's reach is. is yeah. you, you know, the thing is, about I, I usually refer to Tapology to, to get some stats, but Tapology mm. has Remo at 5'8". So I definitely oh. know Remo is not 5'8". So I yeah, could. Nah, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. I, I'm not even sure what Billy's reach is. Surely it's longer than mine or yours. And or mine, yeah. Uh, do yeah. you plan on still using your boxing to 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 open him up? Yeah, I think my cardio is probably my strongest point. I would say. So for me, I I, I like the movement. I like you know angles and um. So for me, yeah, I think I still am going to be. I plan to be all over the place and frustrating for sure. Where do you see you pose the biggest challenge? I know you just said cardio, but skill wise, where do you believe you pose the biggest challenge for him? If we're seeing this in the second into the third or into the first into the second into the third, where are we going to see you shine? I think for me specifically, I think the scramble, Mm -hmm. like, um, you know, like I said, my cardio is good and, you know, I'm pretty athletic. So I feel like that was where I was able to get the upper hand on him the last time. He rushed me and we had that little scramble and then I got into a good position. Yeah. So I think if that happens again, I think that, or I think any scramble positions will be probably where I feel like the strongest, but I'm, con- I'm confident I feel comfortable everywhere, man. I can't. I'm really excited, man. Can't wait. Follow us on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Visit us on Twitter. And stay tuned.